fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, Deer Camp 86. This is a new independent horror movie that I was able to go see at the theater that I worked at last night. We were playing it and everything. It was a movie I'd never heard of. It wasn't even on my radar until literally this week when I saw that we were playing it. And I saw the poster looked like it'd be a fun throwback to 80 slashers movies. And this is pretty much what it is. In, in this movie, it's set in the fall of 1980s. Six and six knuckleheads from Detroit travel to travel north to partake in the annual tradition of deer hunting, but something horrific has awakened and the hunters become the hunted. Um, that's all I'm going to say about the story because I don't want to run it. But there's a lot of really cool stuff that goes on in this movie. A lot of crazy stuff, um, but they build up this lore and and stuff really well in this movie this one and the other movie I saw last night they they went pretty good together as a good double feature um, but I'll talk about that movie in another review um, but this one is is pretty good uh, I think it's a pretty fun comedy movie horror movie and everything it blends raunchy comedy with uh, awesome creepiness it has a creepiness to it and uh, a slasher vibe and stuff too. It kind of kind of has a slasher feel to it, and there's there's some pretty brutal kills in here um, and everything. So I, I will say that they they did a good job blending the comedy and horror, though, especially the comedy. Though the, the, there was quite a few jokes in here. Um, I can't remember any of the characters' names in here, and none of them were really that memorable. But the, there was this heavy set dude, and he keeps making fun of this one dude throughout the whole movie and it, it just reminds me so much of how me and my friend re react towards my brother and stuff when he does silly stuff sometimes and everything and the way we pick on him and stuff when he picks on us and the way they all pick on each other is just really funny and relatable and stuff if you ever been with a group of guys and stuff you just pick on each other and stuff you, you know how it goes um, it's it's fun time. Um, the characters are pretty decent in here. Like I said, they're not really the best developed or really got that much of a likable personality or anything. The only one I even remember the name of is Wesley, and that's just because he has a crush on this girl that that's in the movie at the beginning of it and stuff. And they mention his name, and uh, for some reason I remember his name. But the, they're they're all fine and everything. That you got the the shy quiet dude you got the the loudmouth uh dude and stuff like, like all of the characters kind of are reminiscent of the ones in thanks killing this movie reminded me a lot of thanks killing except it's not as it's not made to be a so bad it's good movie this movie is more just made to be a fun horror comedy and everything and i, I think they did a good job with the comedy in here and stuff and like i said the characters are all all likable enough and everything um, they're kind of over the top and silly, but they're 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 fun to watch and everything, and they're likable just enough that you don't want to see them die and everything. But at the same time, you don't really care too awful much about them because they're just not that. There's not a lot to them and everything. But I did like the lore that this movie brought to. They they brought some cool lore to it, and I would be kind of curious to see what where this could go if it got a sequel. I don't know that it ever will or not. I don't know how good this movie's even doing. I don't know if anybody's even heard of it. But if, if you haven't heard of it and your theater happens to be playing it, I would recommend checking it out and everything. It's, it's pretty good. And it has a pretty cool twist at the end, too. Um, I halfway saw it coming, but it was still executed pretty well and everything. And so I thought that was kind of cool, too. And uh, the kills were pretty awesome in here. I, I think that both movies I saw last night had... A lot of cool kills and everything the other one I think had the better kills but this one had some pretty good ones too and everything and I will say as far as negatives go it's a little bit slow in the middle or the beginning I mean but not too bad and everything but once it picks up it picks up and it's entertaining throughout the whole movie though and the dialogue is pretty bad at times and everything but it also kind of adds a charm to the to this movie too so I, I kind of give it a pass I think they were trying to go for the bad dialogue too though I think they were trying to make this feel like an 80s movie as much as they could and I think for the most part it worked and everything so all in all I, 
I think Deer Camp 86 is a fun enough time. It's a, a pretty enjoyable movie with uh, good enough characters and um, fun enough story. So I'd give this movie an 8 out of 10. I, I enjoyed it. I think it's a fine movie, but I don't think it's um, one of the best movies ever made or anything like that. Um, there, there are definitely better ones out there. But as far as horror movies go, this is definitely one of the better ones I've seen this year. Because I haven't really seen a lot of horror movies this year that I've really loved and everything. But th this one, I, would, I wouldn't I would say I loved it, but I, I really liked it enough. And I, I enjoy it enough and everything. So, uh, anyway, let me know in the comments how you feel about Deer Camp 86 if you've seen it. If you haven't, I do recommend trying to catch it while you can. I don't know how long it'll be in theaters, but it'll be on, on the streaming. I, I could easily see this movie dropping on Tubi as a free movie on Tubi but um, if you get a chance to see it I definitely would recommend it and everything it's a fun enough time and everything nothing super special but it's a fun movie and everything so anyway thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody